Them, those guys ready, man. They, they're ready to prove everybody wrong. Arthur was feisty, whatever word you want to use, with us. What was he like with y'all in here? <laughs> I don't know if he'll feisty with you then. I don't know. I really don't know what to say about that one. Was he positive? Did, did you feel like he was positive or was he pissed? Arthur is Arthur, man. You know, this. So pissed. He's the head coach. I mean, you think he was pissed, he was pissed. Are you, the way you guys ran the ball offensively, is this what you expect the offense to look like? Is this what you thought it would look like this year? We have to run the ball. You know, that's, that's something, that's, that's one of our team goals. We really just run the ball, you know, and we talk about it all the time. I've been talking about it since last year. You know, we've got to run the ball and keep running the ball and running the ball no matter what happens. You know, coach got a lot of faith in us, us running backs and we just try to go out and just run the ball and prove we can do it. Since you had 200 yards as a team, is that something that you can feel like you can do every week? Honestly, man, if we keep working this hard, we you know it's, the sky's the limit. We just got to keep working, you know, and can't let this one game define us. You know, we, we ain't get the W that we wanted. You know, just got to keep going and just in every win, just keep working hard. CP, you, you want the ball, ball on how hard is it to shake a game off like this? Say it again. How hard is it to shake a game off like this? Uh, I mean, just let it sit 24 hours, and after that, we, we got to get ready for the rounds. You know, it's, it's football, man. It's We got 16 more games. You can't let this one game define us. And, you know, a guy like me, you know, I'm, I don't stress, man. I don't trip. You know, it's football. You know, something we do since we was young. We love it. You know, we can't let one game just define you. You just got to keep pushing. Does that come with being a vet? <laughs> like, do younger guys do uh, this more, you think? Like, you're younger in your career? I really don't know. As a young guy, man, I was I, uh, I was not serious at all. I was always funny. So, and we lost, you know, I was always smiling and stuff. That's just the kind of guy I am. You know, I'm just always positive and just happy, you know. Can't have your can't have your whole your head down, you know. It's, it's a long season, man. You can't moat and pout, you know. That what that's gonna do, you know. We, we lost, you know. You still moat and pout. We're not gonna get the win. We already lost, so we just gotta focus on next week. I mean, you know, it's one of those things when you playing a tight game and, and against another great team, you know, things like this happen. And you know, unfortunately, we we came with a loss, but at the same time, I probably wasn't beat. You know, I know for sure this is a long season. Played enough football to understand that. You know, this game doesn't define us and that we got to, you know, get back to the drawing board, uh, be better in the fourth quarter, finishing games against, you know, good, good opponents like these. Got to give kudos to the Saints, but at the same time, the, the, it does give a little bit of taste in your mouth, but hopefully it'll be motivation going into next week. Yeah, how tough is it going to be to sort of let go of this one? It'll be tough, you know. One thing I learned about the league is that you got to have short memory and, um, you know, you got to let this time and let this opportunity, you know, uh, as a team, you know, get better. Um, guys can allow this time also to go back to the you know film room and see what we can improve on and things that you know allowed us to you know let them get back into the game. So, um, but other than that, man, I'm uh, you know really proud of the guys and the things that they did today. We just gotta finish strong. Hey. I'm sorry if you were asked this already, but what do you feel like changed defensively in that fourth quarter for you guys? Um, you know, I think the big plays. Um, James was. You know, for, for some reason, it started clicking for him. He was completing all of his passes, and, you know, we allowed some big plays for them to be able to kick a field goal and get back into the game. So, um, you know, just like I said, we just got to be better in the fourth quarter by finishing these teams. Up front, were you guys doing the same things you had been doing, just not getting there like you had been? No, I think mostly it was just on, uh, you know, for us to be more sound. I think we were a lot better as far as the run game, um, but as far as the pass, you know, we wanted to, we want to improve a lot better, you know, especially going against, you know, good quarterbacks like Jameis and, you know, any other good quarterbacks that's going to be for next week, like, uh, you know, Matthew Stafford. So. We take Salas in the four total sacks, or is the pain still too much to overlook? I mean, you know, it's, it's football, man. You, you know, when you love the game, you play the game, you put a lot of effort into the game, you know, things like this hurt, but at the same time, you got to have short memory and move on and get ready for next week. Um, whatever coach schemed up, we can try to go out there our best and, and do what we could. Did you expect to get as much action as you did, even without the preseason? Uh, I just had to stay ready, and if the ball comes my way, I'm going to try to get Drake, you may have been asked something about this. Sorry about that. How, how's the knee? How are you feeling? Did, did you know coming in you were going to be good to go? Yeah, I'm, I'm good. It's good. Um, played, obviously, the full game, so um, it's all. What how, happened? how do you? Like, what happened mm -hmm. to the game? Oh, I just fell on it. Um, I heard it. Could you, have, if it was a regular season, could you have played sooner, practice sooner? Like, if it, if it had been back then? Uh, to be honest, I don't think so. I know it's just the first game of your career, but how do you process this one the way it ended? A um, lot of, lot of things to learn from. You know, um, me personally, us as a unit, us as a team. Um, so just going back and watching film and trying to perfect my craft and perfect our craft as a whole, so that doesn't happen again. You know.
for you not being on the field over the course of the last two and a half, three weeks, what have you been doing that, you know, we don't see on the field when you're in the film room? What, what's kind of the last three weeks been like for you? <laughs> Trying to be able to run. <laughs> That's pretty much it. Uh, rehab, PT, um, staying mentally focused and locked in um, to the playbook and play plans. So, yeah. Jake, obviously this didn't go the way that you guys wanted it to, but pregame, you're getting ready to go into your first NFL game. What was the mindset and what was it like just getting out there today? Um, you do what got you here at this point, so I'm going to keep on doing what I've been doing um, and, and just build off of that. What did you guys feel like you showed really in the first three quarters offensively that gives you guys some promise heading into LA? You know that we could drive the ball. Um, we, we can drive the ball down. It's cool. it's pretty much it. What do you remember most from the first game? That just happened? Yeah. The whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> um, every little part of it. Um, just being out there in front of the, the fans, the crowd, everything, hearing them scream, you know, um, it was really, really cool. And being that I haven't played in preseason, I really just like one play, um, it was cool to be out there and just to feel that. What were the nerves like? Were you nervous taking the field? Of course, that's natural. Like, nerves is, is a natural thing, but um, like I said before, I've been doing this for a little bit. Um, that's how I got here, so I'm going to keep on doing it. What do you feel like changed in the fourth quarter defensively for you guys? Um, I mean, I don't think anything changed. I just think, you know, the mental company, like I said, we got to come together as a team on the sideline. We got to put that out. I mean, I mean, get a credit to them that they threw the ball up in the air and made some good plays on it. So. Given the fact that you guys were really dominant in the first three and a half quarters, I mean, what does that do for you guys heading into LA? I mean, we we know. I mean, we know what this team's capable of. So, I mean, even if we were to kick that field goal and won by a couple of points, we knew that we'd just stuff we had to clean up. So, regardless of the outcome today, we're going to go to the board and get fixed. I believe it was your first career sack today. Yeah, yeah, it was. What was that like for you? That was incredible. I've been waiting for it for two years. So I'm just hopefully I can build off it and keep going. What was different pressure-wise for you guys in that fourth quarter? Was it not being dialed up as much, not getting there? What, what was different? No, I mean, we just we made different calls that we weren't pressuring. So, I mean, we, we did pressure sometimes, but like I said, I mean, James Wilson was getting the ball out, drop back, throwing it up quick. I mean, it's 50 50 goals. So, yeah, like I said, give them credit, but I don't, I don't think anything changed for us. I think the guys up front were still getting after it. You just do 50 50 goals. You kind of just said it, but do you really feel like it was a matter of James just kind of clicking in the fourth quarter? Yeah, I mean, all day he was running for his life back there. So, I mean, he was able to get the ball out, and when he got that clean pocket and threw it up, those guys came down with the ball. So, like I said, I mean, credit to them, but we, we know we, we know we're in a good spot. This might be a little bit of an obscure question, but the fact that Coach P's changed from the box to the field, what's that difference like for you guys as players? I mean, for me last year, like obviously I was kind of not playing as much, so not playing that much, so like I really can't see the difference, but I can tell when I talk to Debo over here, he's always with me. Um, it just makes it a huge difference. I mean, we can go on the sideline right now and get things fixed, so I think it's great to have him down there, and I mean, I love it. I'm loving it so far. So. And one of us getting after it, secondary. Just what do you think flipped in that final three drives? Just finish, man. Uh, that's a good football team. You know, they, they finish at the end, and uh, it's a couple plays that, uh, you know, we want back as a defense, but that's a good football team, and they showed. What's one of those plays you want back? Uh, you know, man, I ain't, <laughs> ain't find a play, but yeah. they just finished strong, you know, and uh, we're going to learn from this tomorrow and move forward to LA. Could you sense that Jameis and Mike were getting into a little bit of a rhythm? Nah, you know, football is football. You know, uh, only one guy with the ball, but like I said, we're going to learn from this tomorrow and move forward. On the bright side, you're getting after him four times, four sacks in a single game. I know it's a bright spot you'll take home. Absolutely, man. You know, we wanted to, be, we wanted to attack all three phases. I think we did a good job of that, but we just got to finish. How hard will this be to overcome and get back on track? I don't think it'll be hard at all. You know, we did a lot of good things, put a lot of good things on film, and learn from the bat, take it, chew it, swallow it, move on. When it comes to the, the final quarter and the explosive plays that they were kind of mm -hmm. tracking on top of one another, how did that change kind of y'all's you know, defensive rhythm from where it was in the first three quarters? Uh, you know, they just got the pace going, um, you know, communicating the calls. And, uh, getting in line quickly, you know, things like that. So that we're gonna learn from, and uh, but that's a good football team, you know. They showed it. Uh, they, they won that game, and uh, we just gonna learn from. Did you really feel like it was a matter of James just kind of clicking in the fourth quarter? Less on you guys, more on just James putting things together. Just like I said, James is a good quarterback. Yeah. They got good receivers, and they did what they needed to do at the end. And you guys were really dominant for three and a half quarters. What are you gonna take from that heading into LA? Yeah, that's why I said uh, we put a lot of good things on film. I'm not really worried about, you know, um, how we're going to respond, but we do need to respond. You said to Tori a second ago that they were just getting the line, getting plays out really quick. Did that, like, affect your communication at all on your end? Was that one of the things that kind of contributed to their big play? Just all around. You know, just all around uh, the pace, uh, you know, uh, 
it was just all around. It was just all around. You guys, are, oh, you guys are gonna have a lot to look at, but when you see a guy who's 200 plus passing yards in the fourth quarter, I mean, what's that gonna be like to review that film? It'd be painful, you know. We lost at the end of the day, but like I said, we put a lot of good things on film, so we just gotta take that move forward. Your head coach afterwards was like, man, you guys wrote us off in May. You're writing us off now. We still got 16 to go. Is that kind of like us against the world mentality he has with you guys? We're just coming here every day and we work and we get better. That's it, man. That's all I can tell you. Uh, I tell you from this game is just overall just get better. You know what I'm saying? We play one week at a time. Every week is a new opponent. And um, just learn from our mistakes and just bounce back. Is there anything you can point to in the fourth quarter that changed that they did differently, that you guys did differently? We just got to play our ball, you know what I'm saying? Continue that streak that we had going and doing us. And that's it, fin just finishing the game. What encouraged you from those first three quarters? You held them to 56 passing yards. They were having trouble running it. We're just playing like us. That's it, man. And we just got to follow through and play four quarters. You know, every quarter is a round, and we got to win those rounds. What was kind of coach's message to you guys after this one? Shake back. That's all you can do. Learn from mistakes. Shake back. New week, new hot. Let's go. That's it. What did you think of the atmosphere of the flags? It's a packed house. Obviously, the Saints are always going to have a lot of fans here. It's going to be rowdy. What did you think of that? Uh, real dope, real special. Um, you know, home is something special to us. You know, we're trying to make this very territorial. And, um, you know, it was, it, was, it was really dope. Appreciate the fans always. Last question for you. Just your takeaway from your game. How do you think you did? I know you got to go back through film, but what, what are your immediate reactions? Automatic, you know what I'm saying? We lost. We're good, good or bad, you always got to improve. You know, can't play a perfect game. So I'll go back and watch the tape and uh, you know, just keep improving and keep moving forward. We got good stuff to build off of, but we got to get in there, watch the film, make the corrections, and get ready to go to LA. We'll start with the good stuff then, the pass rush. I mean, that's something that hasn't really been quite so consistent here. You guys get four sacks. What was the key to, to getting the quarterback? Uh, that was just one of our things. Uh, we knew we had to affect the quarterback. Uh, so we tried to come out do what we do and try to affect them. Uh, wish we could have kept affecting them late in the game, but like I said, we got to get in, watch the film, see what we got to do, and just get ready to keep going. And it seemed like you guys were getting creative there with Coach Bees, with uh, nickelback safeties uh, making their way to Jameis Winston. How much was that a factor in the game, those creative blitzes? Yeah, I think that's one thing that uh, we do. Uh, Coach Bees makes sure that we mix it up, uh, get rushes coming from the inside, outside, off the edge. Uh, so we'll keep going. We'll, we can build from this. Uh, I don't think guys are in here hanging their heads. I think everybody's ready to get back to work tomorrow. Uh, let's go. Flip side of things from the pass rush. You guys so good for three quarters. What changed for the fourth quarter? Uh, I think they made adjustments. I mean, they're a good team, too. They got professional players, good coaches. So they made their adjustments and did what they had to do. But I think at the end of the day, we got to make those adjustments, too, and keep going. Was there any particular adjustment that stood out to you? Were they getting the ball out quicker? Jameis had 200 plus passing yards in the fourth quarter. Um, I think uh, they started chipping. They started making sure they got him protected uh, and kept protection for him. They keep letting him hit the ground. So that's one thing they, they made their adjustment. So we got to keep going. As one of the, the veterans on this team, what's your message to the younger guys on defense? Again, it's 1 of 17. Exactly. Like you said, it's 1 of 17. It's early in the year. Um, I don't think a lot of people counted us to win this game, counted us to even be in this game. Mm -hmm. So I know we got the right guys in the locker room. Nobody's hanging their head. We're all ready to go to work. So just let them know hey, it's early. It's, this is what the NFL is. It's going to come down to one possession games, and we got to figure out how to win those one possession games. And that was kind of Arthur Smith's message. He said, you know, people were counting us out in the offseason. People were counting us out after this game. Is that kind of the message that he shared to you guys? Oh, yeah, for sure. I mean, we know what we got in this locker room. Uh, we know the guys. We got the right group of guys. Everybody's going to come in, work hard. And we're ready. We're ready for the long haul. But last thing for you, I appreciate your time, Lorenzo. The biggest takeaway on this defense, what are you going to walk away thinking about from this game? Is it the, the pass rush and the good things you showed, or is it, you know, how things ended? Uh, yeah, it's always never as good as it feels or never as bad as it looks. But I think the takeaway is just that we got to keep getting better. And this is the first game. We got to make leaps and bounds in that second game, man. Just keep getting better.